Limp Bizkit's dressing room. Wes was over in the corner putting on his makeup and humbling to himself. Staying frontman Aaron Lewis continues to dominate in the country world. He has been very successful with his solo shows. And when you go to see him live, it's really cool too because he definitely plays the Stain classics as well and he's very interactive with the fans. And sometimes I think he would even argue that he gets a little too interactive with his fans and he's very talkative during his shows. He even joked during this video we're about to show you that Jack Daniels sometimes gets him in a little bit of trouble. So anyways, this video was from a little while ago. It was actually from back in June, but we're just now seeing it. Aaron Lewis was performing for fans, and he kind of brought up the, the whole beef with him and Wes Borland again. He made fun of him quite a bit during this little speech he gave on stage, but he also talked about the fascinating story of how he wrote Outside, one of Stain's biggest hits ever. And it's a fascinating story. What a lot of people don't realize about that song, which was very, very successful, he got the chance to perform it with Fred Durst on stage, but what Fred didn't know before they went on stage was that he hadn't even written the entire song. So he wrote it and came up with it as he went on stage. And beyond that, he captured lightning in a mason jar as he described it and the rest was history. You've got to hear this story. It's something we're hearing for the first time. Here's Aaron Lewis telling the extremely fascinating story, also making fun of Wes Borland, uh, about how Outside came to be for Stain. Long story, I'm not going to let Jack Daniels get me in trouble. I had a chord progression and a chorus, 
And I've made it up a couple other times. I'm pretty good at winging it. That was all I had. And this motherfucker was like, well, if you play that song, I'll come out and I'll sing the choruses with you. And there was no way in that moment I was going to be like, but the chorus is all I have. <laughs> so I went out on that stage in front of 14,000 people. Mississippi Coast Coliseum, being the first of five bands to play, which means that we were the walk-in music, and for some reason, that place was full to the brim at 7.30 at night when we went on stage. This was, I captured a bolt of lightning in a mason jar. That I may or may not have drank the moonshine from. But this shit was crazy. If you go back now after this story and watch the original me and Fred Durst video, you can see me I'm sweating. Like sweating. And shaking. You can see my trembling on the guitar. Because I was making this shit up as I went along in front of 14,000 people. And it happened just like this. So there you have it. That's a crazy story of Fred Durst, one of the biggest figures in music at the time, telling him he wanted to come out and sing that chorus with him. And so he did, but he had no clue that Aaron Lewis hadn't written the entire song. So Aaron was smart for not telling him that because it was a great opportunity for his band. And it was very cool. Of course, let us know in the comments what your favorite Stain song is. This is definitely one of their best tracks. Uh, Mud Shovel is also a sick one if you've never heard that. Don't forget to subscribe to Rockfeed with notifications on so you don't miss breaking hard rock and heavy metal news. That's what we do here. Thank you so much for joining us on Rockfeed. We will see you all very soon.